Hello everyone, this is Adam Meister, the Bitcoin Meister, the Disrupt Meister. Welcome to Today in Bitcoin. Today is February the 13th, 2017. Thank you for the person who used my Coinbase affiliate link to get some Bitcoin at Coinbase. That link is below. All right, we'll link also link to below. Always check out the notes section below. Um, both of yesterday's shows where we had the technical difficulty I'm filming this show in that same method as the second one and because the internet is messed up still. Uh, I'm going to Lisbon in a few hours though, so we'll s tomorrow should be interesting. Um, and yeah, I'll link to Saturday's show and uh, also This Week in Bitcoin and the Carlo Vicari Ethereum Classic uh, links are below. Please check them out if you guys haven't watched those shows yet. They're good shows. So I, uh, I get the Casey Research free email newsletter. They email you a lot. When you uh, sign up for the Doug Casey uh, research uh, list, they, they email you like twice a day. And so I, I, I try to read the emails. I don't always read them. And as some of you know, Doug Casey was interviewed here on this channel. Uh, anyway, so Casey Research, they usually talk about precious metals and other things, but this game-changing technology is about to explode. I was like, well, I better look at this. And they're talking about cryptocurrency and Bitcoin. Now, Doug Casey did not write this. It was actually a guest writer. I don't think this guy is even a, this guy is not a member of Casey Research. And he kind of implies some things about Ethereum, I think he's talking about too in the article. I, I forgot the, the main article was all right. Okay, I was, ha I was happy because, okay, people who are subscribed to Casey Research are, hearing about cryptocurrency. This is a positive thing. This is a good thing. Now, the author linked to uh, another article, and I, I will link to both of these things below. You can check them out for yourself. So from the main KC Research article, you go to the guy's, um, his article, and it's like a promotional piece. He's talking and talking and talking, and he says, the next Bitcoin. And he talks about a guy named Vitalik Buterin, or whatever his name is. You know who. And uh, now in the URL, it actually says Ethereum. But I listened to this thing in the background for like 10 minutes. And he would not name the name Ethereum. I think he wants you to subscribe to I couldn't even listen to the whole thing. I mean, it was... It sounded like a used car salesman talking about cryptocurrency. It's, it's hilarious. Now, again, this is not on the KC Research site. But this is linked to from the KC Research site by the author of the original art article. So I'm not gonna name this guy's name. I mean, you're gonna be able to see when you check out the links, but it, it really was, sh this this voiceover refusing to name Ethereum, but saying it could go up, you know, a thousand times in value and all this rambling on ne the next Bitcoin, the next Bitcoin. Like he had some big secret, like Ethereum was so, but he wouldn't even say Ethereum. I assume he must have said it at the end because it does, in the URL title, it says Ethereum. I hope he said it at the end. Um, I couldn't listen that long though. And you won't, I don't know if anyone will be able to listen to the entire thing. Um, but I, I, the guy clearly did not know much about cryptocurrency though. He's just like a huge speculator. He didn't talk about how Ethereum split. I don't even know when he recorded this thing. And I'm not trying to say anything bad about Ethereum here. I'm just trying to say the mainstream investors out there, mainstream investors have no idea about cryptocurrency. And then the ones who start to dabble in it, they still don't have much of an idea. I mean, this guy, you'll listen, you'll be like, whoa, where is he, com where is he coming from? He doesn't know that much. And he, he, he sounds like a used car salesman. So anyway, there's a lot of opportunity out there for people who know about this stuff and try to you know ease people around and not be shady about it like this guy don't try to say hey these all coins are gonna be the next bitcoin is it probably not but you can say hey there's this thing called bitcoin and then there are other you know there are other coins try to i mean i i can't tell you everything is going to go up uh, by a thousand times but here this is interesting it is going to change the world it is going to change your world but you, listen i i will link to that stuff below you can decide on your own and laugh it at off if you want to all right, so you know, everybody knows that um, I help people set up their Trezors. You can email me at adam at trezorhealth.com. My fees are listed below, um, but I have clients. 
And I have, I've alluded to this before that my clients usually have quite a bit of a big, I just work with somebody. They had 20 or they, someone with 20 Bitcoin contacted me. They're not, they're close to 70 years old and no interest in trading it or doing, they just want to store it. They just want to store it on their Trezor and they care about safety, which is, I don't think people get exposed, you know, in our little bubble here, in our little Bitcoin bubble on all these channels, we talk about trading and young guys doing altcoins and flipping and not getting into these cloud mining debacles. This person was just slow and steady, slow and steady, buy and hold. And I just want to point out that all the people, basically all the people who contact me about the Trezor and then want help with their Trezor to set it up, they're buy and hold people with that have experience in other financial instruments, but, and want to get like, they want to be in the elite of Bitcoin. They don't even know they want to be in the elite, but they want like 10 Bitcoin. They want to spend like $10,000 on Bitcoin, these people. So I think I, I want to, you know, we don't hear a lot about these people out there. They don't care about uh, Lightning Network or you know, they, they probably would be, I don't know if they'd even be interested because they, they're not, they're not interested about in buying coffee with their Bitcoin. So there's a little insight into who these people are. Again, this person is close to 70 years old with 20 Bitcoin and they, they just get it, got it from Coinbase and they're not technologically skilled people here at all, but they want to save. All right. Tone Vase recently reminded uh, in, in a tweet, uh, and I will link to that tweet below, about, and, and we've talked about this, cash bans might be on the way in the European Union. Now, I'm not saying this is happening anytime soon, but this is the type of thing. It, it's a real fundamental change. This is not like China going back and forth, banning, not banning Bitcoin, and whatever, they, the rumors. If this really happened, if the EU starts to get rid of some more of these cash, large, smaller cash bills, in fact, if they just totally ban cash, that's huge because the EU is a modern wealthy area where people have easy access to the web. They're knowledgeable, knowledgeable in technology. It's not like India where they, everyone's very, very, many people are super duper duper poor. They don't have access to technology and just it's not modern, most of it. So if people in such an area that is modern and technologically sound like the European Union, if they all of a sudden did not have cash, they figure out a way darn quick to get Bitcoin, okay? It would be on their radar immediately because it's already on their radar with uh, Cyprus and Greece. I mean, the different parts are already familiar with Bitcoin, but it would be to a whole new level. So yeah, that's a fundamental change in the global monetary system if that happened, and that could really help Bitcoin. So we should keep our eye on these situations that we hear about in the EU, EU when they discuss these type of things. I don't know. It, it, it might happen. I don't know if it's going to happen before 2020 or not. I'm not one of those guys. You know, when some people talk about it, they're like, it's going to happen so soon. Prepare. End of the world. EU. No. Bureaucracies take a long time sometimes. They're very inefficient also. And people really might protest a lot like they're getting their cash taken away. I mean, I'd be quite unhappy. I wouldn't just be like, oh, well, I'll just go to Bitcoin. I mean, I, well, maybe I would. But, but most people out there, even though they're technologically sound, they're not going to be like that. They're going to be like, I want my cash. I, what the heck are you trying to do to me here? Keep an eye on it. All right. Traditional Bitcoin media. I, I know that what I mean by that is like the coin desk. You know, there's some sites that, you know, you, you Google news Bitcoin, you'll get the usual sites. And it seems like so many of these sites, and I don't mean to diss the authors, uh, the, the guys writing there, and I don't know any of them personally, but it seems like a lot of the times they just cut and paste press releases, and that's not really news, and that's not really, there's not that much, I mean, some articles are good, I, it's disappointing. It's disappointing that the print, 
and the way that they, you know, tone is actually alluded to, you know, the ways that they get paid is it, that's, they have to make clickbaity sounding titles so people click and that's how the authors get paid by how many clicks they get. So that model isn't really good for conveying real news and analysis. It's good for like having titles that say $250,000 Bitcoin on the way or something. So I don't know what to say. I'd say, you know, pay attention more to the videos that are out there, um, like, like the channels, like this channel here. Um, I think they're a lot more fun than uh, just reading some of these press releases is, is what it ends up being. And it's not just the Bitcoin media that just reprints press releases, obviously the traditional media too. Um, but you'd expect more for it from the Bitcoin media. I don't know. That's just a critique. I watch, watch the videos. The videos are, are the YouTube channels are better than the, uh, written, uh, Bitcoin stuff on these, these, uh, whatever sites. All right. And speaking about the mainstream media, uh, I was just thinking, you know, God, 80% of the people, <laughs> it seems like, don't want to think. In this cut in the United States, they just don't want to think, so they just are happy sitting in front of the tube, and and, and watching the NFL or what or whatever. And I I'd say, think of Bitcoin and people who actually search for non-mainstream media sources on the web as like the twenty percent who want to get out of that paradigm and the smart, the smart people of this world. And you want to be you don't want to be the people sitting on your couch, you know, afraid of real life, afraid of thinking, you know, oh, I'd rather just not think. I'd rather just drink my beer and go to a bar and uh, watch some TV. No, get it. This is a brave, be brave, be in the top 20%. And who knows if my numbers, I'm pulling 20%, 80%. I'm just making that up. But it, it does seem like that sometimes, doesn't it? And I, I would say that if you're a thinker, you're not alone. I think Bitcoin is for you. I think our little corner of the world has a really high percentage of thinkers in it. And um, we've gotten ourselves out of this mainstream media paradigm. So we should pat ourselves on the back. On that note, I am going to go to the airport pretty soon, get at, get out of this country, go to Portugal, Lisbon, Portugal. I am gonna, I'm sure I'm going to encounter some people out there that are Bitcoin people. I'm absolutely sure after I've emailed some people. So everyone, it might be a, a few more hours until you see another video from my, me. It might be an older video too. I and mean, it depends on upload speed over there. And because I have one prepared, but it's not exactly new material. So I'm Adam Meister, the Bitcoin Meister, the Disrupt Meister. Remember to subscribe to this channel, like this video, share this video. You're one of the smart 20% out there. If you're watching this and you have some Bitcoin and cryptocurrency, be proud of yourself, spread the word. Um, check out the notes section below. Bye-bye, everybody.